Hey, welcome to another show. Today on the show, we are going to be talking about the picture graph and how to use it. The other day, we were talking about doing a survey, and you can check the video I had on that. All right, we got another one from Banana. Get, guys, 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 get off the table, get off the table. Come on, we're trying to do a survey here. But right now, we'll, let's review real quickly on how to do a survey. So for instance, the question we have on our survey is, our, what is your favorite pet? So first, we're going to take tallies of everybody's vote. So people are, in the class are going to vote to see, to tell me about what their favorite pet is. So for example, let's ask the class real quick what their favorite pet is. Cat. So we got one for cat. Fishy fish. Fish. Dog. Dog. Doopy rabbit. Oh, got one for rabbit. Fish oh, another one for fish. Pet. Even another one on fish. Kitty right cat. over there, we got one for cat. Kitty cat. Another one for cat. What? One vote for rabbit. Cat. Another vote for cat. And Kitty another cat. vote for cat. Now remember when we did, we have five, we don't put five tally marks. We're going to put a line that goes across here, and that'll be a group of five. So when we do tally marks, we'll do a group of five. So every time we see something like that, let me make this line a little darker right here. Um, every time you see a group like that, you know that there's five, okay? Yeah. Oh, we got another one for cat right here. Okay, so we have our, uh, everybody voted on their favorite pet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna count the tally marks. So we have a group of five here and so that's five, and then plus one is six. Let's count these. One, two, three. Then we have a, one vote for a dog and two votes for rabbit. Okay, now we have our information from our survey. And what we're going to do is with this information now, we're going to use a picture graph. And the word picture graph is that we use pictures. You can use circles, smiley faces. You can draw pictures of a cat or a fish. Um, just to make it simple, you can just put in a circle. Uh, so for today, let's just make it simple and make circles in our picture graph. So let's take our information we have. We have six for cat. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw six zeros, OK? So count with me. We have one two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's take a look at the fish. Here's our fish right here. We have three. Three students would like to have a fish. One, two, three. What about dogs? Let's take a look at that. We have one vote for a dog. So I put in a circle here. Remember, picture graph. Now we have rabbit. We have two votes for a rabbit. We have one, two. Now, on graphs, you're going to see a key. And a key represents, uh, it'll tell you, like for these circles, it'll tell you, for this key, it says each pet equals one vote. Now, if I were to have like 20 or 30, I wouldn't have room to put 20 or 30 circles in my picture graph. And so I might have to change the key to mean that every circle would mean two votes or five votes or something like that. And we'll have another video talking about that um, upcoming. So, but for right now, uh, this is our picture graph and our key is one vote. So let's take a look at the information we have here. How many people liked cats? All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we had that information here from our survey. But what a picture graph does, it shows you visually. Okay, you can, instead of seeing the numbers, now you can see it visually. And that's what a graph shows. And even your grown-ups, your dad, your, you know, or your mom, in, you know, if they're working in the business world, they use graphs. And we're going to get into some cool graphs later on. But this is really fun, a picture graph. So you can see right away who has the largest amount. You know, who has the most? Cat was voted most. What has the smallest? Right, you can see visually the dog. 
all right? The cat, or the fish right here, you can see it's a little more than the rabbit and the dog. So a picture graft is used for visual representation. And it's a fun way to collect and use data. So make sure you check out my other videos on here. I have a lot of cool educational videos and drawing videos. And like always, have a fun day. I want you to make learning fun because then you'll have fun learning. Have a fun day. Bye-bye.